There was always a fear among United fans that that could have happened tonight. At the back of your mind, even if we had gone 11 games unbeaten under Solskjaer, tonight was the major, major test. And ultimately, Solskjaer failed because Man United lost 2-0 and it could have been a hell of a lot more, you know, thanks to a few saves from David De Gea. But let me know what you think about that match in the comments below. But ultimately, it was not a travesty of the performance. See, and that's the wrong word to describe it because in that first 45 minutes, you had Thomas Tuchel's side setting up against United to contain us and to not hit on the counter-attack, which is what I thought PSG were going to do straight away. And Man United, straight out of the blocks in the first few minutes, we looked good. We really did press in PSG high. But unfortunately, that intensity expired towards the end of the first half. And basically, Man United's chances in that game went by the end of the first half when Anthony Martial and Jesse Lingard both got injured. Because with both of those injuries, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and his ability to change the game with his substitutions was taken away from him because he had to replace both of his wide players before halftime or at halftime. Alexis Sanchez coming on, he was shit. Juan Mata coming on, he's slow. But PSG, they set up wonderfully to stop Manchester United. In midfield, you have Marquinhos and Verratti. Marquinhos is a centre-back and Verratti, coming back from injury, should only have played 60 minutes. Marquinhos man-marked Pogba out of the game. Pogba didn't really have a sniff. And because of that, Kimpembe and Thiago Silva were allowed to sit on Rashford. He couldn't get space in behind. With them playing three at the back and then Danny Alves, and I can't remember, is it Bernard? Is the, Bernat is the left wing back? You didn't get space in behind for Lingard and Martial. It was a really astute tactical setup from Thomas Tuchel in that first half to contain United because when PSG came out in that second half United didn't have the same fire that PSG did ultimately it was a set piece which gave PSG the advantage but after that point Manchester United lost their heads there was zero on the pitch management and it was no surprise to see Di Maria flying away passing it into Mbappe who made it 2-0 a wonderful counter-attacking goal. And as soon as PSG had that space, you're shitting yourself every time they went forward with the ball. And Man United, as I said, we lost our heads in that game. We certainly lost our heads towards the end. But one person we have to talk about is the referee. You know, I'm not putting that loss on the referee because United were outplayed and outclassed by a much better team. PSG clearly levels above where Manchester United are at the moment and where we are aspiring to get towards. But how the fuck was Kimpembe on the pitch to score that first goal for PSG? I don't know. He was already on the yellow card in the first half. So was Paul Pogba. And then Paul Pogba got away with a sec you know, semi-second yellow card challenge and so did Kimpembe. One all. We'll call that quits. But then when Kimpembe took Rashford down, Rashford was in front of him, he pulled him down. The exact same tackle that Ashley Young made on Kylian Mbappe, he got a yellow card. Kimpembe gets nothing, then goes, of course, and scores the first goal. That referee tonight was making strange decisions all over the shop, and the strangest of all, I suppose, came at the end there with Paul Pogba or Ashley Young. Who's getting sent off? Apparently it's Paul Pogba, who now misses the second leg. So Man United go to Paris, 2-0 down, and without Paul Pogba. I mean, fuck me. Yes, PSG... They coped well without Cavani and, and Neymar, but this Manchester United team isn't mature enough, I don't think, to cope without Paul Pogba. You take the key stars out of our team, we are going to struggle. And as far as I'm concerned, I would say probably the tie is over unless a miracle happens in Paris in a few weeks' time. How are United supposed to come back from that? You know, defensively tonight, I don't think United were that poor. It's just that PSG was sensational. Thiago Silva, every single ball that went in, he swept it out. Kempembe, I thought he was going to be a bit sketchy after he got that yellow card, but that goal seemed to boost his confidence. He was perfect. Marquinhos in that man-marking role in the first half on Pogba was sensational. He didn't need to do it in the second half because PSG opened up. They started to press United. But even with that extra space, Pogba couldn't affect the game. Matic was probably our best midfielder on the night, which really says it all. And tonight could have offered so much to United fans. It was a massive game for Solskjaer underneath the Champions League spotlight at Old Trafford. But it's not a game 
where I feel Solskjaer can be completely judged as to whether he's good enough to be Manchester United manager or not. Because plenty of times Fergie was pumped in Europe. But it's how we now see this Manchester United team respond. Because tonight, it wasn't the start of a run of... You know, it wasn't the first game in this tough run of fixtures. I suppose it was, actually, when you think about it. We've got Chelsea coming up. We've got Liverpool coming up. We've got Arsenal coming up again. And we've got PSG away. And now we might have to do it without Lingard and Martial. That completely changes the dynamic of Manchester United's attack. We've been built on fluid movement between our front three of Martial, Rashford and Lingard with Pomper in behind. And teams haven't really been able to stop us. You took Martial and Lingard out of that and Sanchez couldn't do sweet fuck all because he was getting marked. The tight defending from PSG. United couldn't do anything because... As tight as they came, they didn't leave space in behind because Thiago Silva and Kempembe were there. It was a very elite level performance of defending from PSG tonight that gave United absolutely no chance. You know, the chances we did have right the first half, Young swinging a cross in, once or twice we got in behind that PSG defence and found space. But PSG knew our strengths tonight and they shut them down. And unfortunately for Solskjaer, as far as I'm concerned, his ability to change that game... You know, you know if, if you're going to test a manager, you're 2-0 down, you bring on your subs to change the game. That's where you see the, on, the in-game management of a manager. Solskjaer had the ability to do that taken away from him by the fact that he had to take Lingard and Martial off for you know, Sanchez and Mata so early on. It's fucking disappointing. It really is disappointing, but I'm not going to throw anybody under the bus after that. PSG levels above. We all knew that going into the game. That's why there was an excited yet scared factor at Old Trafford because Mbappe, he's mustered and he tore United apart in that second goal. Nobody could, Basically, anybody can, is going to lose a race to Mbappe. And Di Maria, much of a snake as he is, I suppose, he played well. Second half, he responded to that first half battering he literally got from Ashley Young and the Old Trafford crowd with two assists. You can't begrudge a team from being better than you. And I think United's ability to actually win the game tonight went when Martial Lingard went off. And that's by the by, but United can't complain about that, I suppose, in the fact that Neymar and Cavani were both missing for PSG at the start of the game. But let me know what you think about that. Ultimately, Solskjaer has failed his major test so far, battered by PSG over the course of 90 minutes. It was a cagey first 45, which we all sort of expected but that second 45, United had no on the pitch management. Our heads were gone after that first goal. That's poor. You needed more from the likes of Matic, Pogba, the more mature, experienced players to say, look, take control of the game. But PSG showed the wealth of the experience that they had and they tore United apart. And now we go to Paris, 2 0 down. If they score one, we've got to score four. That'll be a fun trip. Looking forward to that one. But let me know what you think about the game in the comments below. As always, if you're new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe. But until next time, take it easy.